We're just going to the vet. You know, I did forget to talk about that. Go. This way. This is the vet office, and they brought him in. I think they already did one of his shots, and they have did this because he went in with the technician, and we didn't come in with them first. But they, um, I think they did the blood work on him. They're checking him for feline leukemia, making sure he doesn't have that. Our previous cat died of feline leukemia. And they're checking him for it so he can give they can give him that vaccine. So now we're waiting. The, they said the test will be about 10 minutes. He's not a waiter. He's very sad in there. So our previous cat that we had before, when we got him from the Humane Society, we knew he was sick. But I took him to a private vet. And they, the vet told us that he's sick, yes, but if we feed him and keep him healthy, he'll be with us for a long time. Boy, was she wrong. So he was with us for almost a year before he died. He died of feline leukemia, and he, so he had cancer, and he died. And my daughter was so upset. And the place that we moved, we living in now that we moved to, um, they didn't allow pets and dog cats, cats or dogs. So they didn't like pets. So I had to convince my landlord to let us have a pet for my daughter to help her anxiety, to um, help her, because um, she's scared of bugs, guys. And we have some spiders. So uh, to help her anxiety, I needed to figure out like what we can do. So I like we, my husband and I like, begged our landlord to have a pet. So now we have this little guy. We got him at four weeks. He's like 24 weeks now. We got him at four weeks, and he's just the cutest little thing, guys. So, we're, um, you know, we, we keep him healthy. We keep him absolutely healthy. And our other cat, we were keeping him healthy, too. But I guess, you know, his body just couldn't handle the cancer. And we had a previous dog, too. Her name was Precious. She was um, got her shots and everything at the vet as well. And we have to do, in this state, it required a pet license to keep a pet. So... Um, after I get home, I'm going to do that pet license because he's going to need the last shot that he needs. And I have to um, sign the new lease for my landlord Wait, to include the pet. Uh, I don't know. No. I don't know anything. All they said was the, the test was going to take 10 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> I think they, they put him back in the bag, so I don't know. This is our little carrier for him. There was a guy that came in with two cats too out in the waiting room. And he he had this exact same bag. I had this bag for our other cat and I had this bag for our other dog too. We had a very miniature poodle so he was able to fit in there too. He? I mean she. Oh my god her name was Precious you guys. It was a she. <laughs> You're already forgetting her. No, I look, I actually, you guys, I look at her picture every day. I talk to my little girl every day, actually. Tell her about what's been going on with my life. I hope, she, hope she's waiting for me up in heaven there. This is little Oreo. Hi, Oreo. Just, doesn't, just don't make sure he goes doesn't go through the door if they open the door. Good job, Mr. Oreo. Oh, oh my no, what was that? I know. That was so weird, wasn't it? I know. He's like, I am I'm too smart, guys. So, this, this all the shots are good now? No. He um, will want to uh, booster the feline leukemia since. Since he hasn't, oh, I know, hasn't had that before. Oh, I know, oh, I know, I know, I know. 
I did go buy, um, or I didn't buy it, I got it off Facebook Marketplace for free, some ride on toys for the um, backyard or playground, whatever you want to call it. And now I'm home cleaning up. We've already eaten dinner. I'm just cleaning up the kitchen and getting situated for the night to be over with. And yeah, so the rest of the video will be just cleaning motivation. Take a look. I give my children melatonin before they go to bed because it helps them sleep. If they don't get melatonin, they're going to be up for like hours, hours at a time. They even go to sleep in the morning, guys. My kids are very bad to get to sleep. Like, it very, that's not the word, hard. It's very hard for me to get my kids to sleep. So I give them the melatonin every night to get them to sleep. And for me to get some rest. Because if they're not sleeping, I'm not sleeping. So I need to get some rest. And they need to get some rest. So melatonin worked for us. 